Hi YouTube. This is a cute setup. Yeah. Um, welcome back to my channel. Today's video and today's episode of the Life with Levon show is all about my fur. For those who don't know, I have sister locks. It's a form of dreadlocks, but it's got a different technique. So it's like a hook. So it's like a crochet type of technique used to put them in. Um, it's all my hair. Uh, I've had them for three years now. Um, length check. My hair is like 11 inches in like most of it. So hopefully you can see this. Oh, this should be my thumbnail. Oh, and one of the like defining features of Sister Locks is the grid pattern in my hair. So, because I've had my hair retightened recently, you can see it even clearer. See how the partings are nice and straight and beautiful. I also oiled my scalp a couple days ago because I wasn't trying to come on YouTube. And embarrass myself with dry scalp, you know? I'll, sh ooh, I'll show you a picture of when I first got my locks done three years ago. But, yeah, my main reason for getting locks is because I've always had natural hair. And my mom used to like plait my hair, twist my hair do all these different styles in my hair until maybe college which is not university in the US so basically college UK when I was like 16 17 and when I had to start learning to do my own hair I was like <laughs> CBA can't be asked so um, yeah I was like for sure I gotta get a style that I don't have to do much to and that I can still flip around and do fun stuff with. So I decided when I was at uni, um, I'm trying to think, it must have been my final year at uni. Yeah, final year of uni, so fourth year. Then I was like, okay, I'm ready to get locks now. So I dyed my hair. I had dyed my hair this like auburn gingery color. Um, a month before I was getting my locks like installed um, because I knew that if you dye your hair with the locks it could damage the locks so I was like I'm paying a lot of money and I'm not trying to spoil it so um, yeah I did that and then maybe six months I've asked people to ask me questions about my hair so I'm gonna get those now Um, in the early stages, I didn't really do that much. I just had it. <laughs> I didn't really style it. I didn't want to put too much pressure on it. Um, especially because when I went on holiday, so I think after the first year of having my locks, I went on holiday in the Caribbean and I was like, I wanted to be on the beach and in the water and I had to put my swimming cap on. So I was like braiding the front of my hair in fact, I was braiding like all of my hair. You know when you have two, not it's either flat twist or like cornrows coming around with all the hair to the back. Um, and I was doing that pretty much every day. We were going to the beach, and then when I came back, I realised that I put a lot of tension on some of the locks at the front of my hair, especially because my hairline has never been like really thick. Like I've always had like a delicate hairline, so I purposely didn't get my locks from the front pulling because what hairline would I have so that's why there's like um I guess a gap between my hairline and where my locks start same with this side I'm not really self-conscious about it because my hairline's always been like this and it's healthy it's just um it's not thick <laughs> and I don't like putting pressure on my hairline for no reason I'm not really trying to have um, traction alopecia and these things especially because the whole reason I got sister locks was because they were nice and light and fluffy and wouldn't be a weight on me um, it does annoy me sometimes when they're like touching me 
but I can pull my hair back or like one time I did some cute little style or something like this let me see let me show you I had like a big clip and I like folded it all around like um yeah something like that like a little crown it was very cute but oh yeah I'm not gonna lie to you, my hairdresser cusses me sometimes because sometimes my hair looks a bit brittle when she's retightening it. Um, so I have to like drink more water. But I think stress is a big factor. Like when I'm stressed, my locks, like, because obviously they're growing while I have them, then like my hair's growing, but it's growing thin or like, for example, like in my locks, you can see that this is pretty consistent all the way through. I did have some, especially near the front. Let's see if I can find one. Uh, let's see. This one, maybe. Where there are bits in the middle that are a bit thinner because of the fact that I was either stressed at the time or I wasn't retightening my hair as um, frequently as I was supposed to be. Also, you can see these tiny locks here. Can my camera focus? There we go. These are like my baby locks. These are the ones that when my hairdresser was retightening my hair, she saw that I had enough growth at the front to put some new ones in. But the length difference is annoying because obviously those are like four foot one and then the others are like six foot two. So it's just like when I'm trying to do stuff or push my hair back, they'll just be flying like, look like a little pelican or whatever bird has this, chukan maybe. Um, <clears throat> I don't have one that's the joy of having locks like I don't have a morning hair routine I just take off my do-rag literally do this and leave <laughs> or if I'm doing like an updo where's my hairband don't have my hairband on me but I normally do like a half up half down type look or I flip my whole head upside down which I'm not gonna do now because I'll be looking extra silly and then I have it like this obviously this is like a rubbish version because i'm just doing an example but yeah um hola so and routine i literally put my hair behind my ears put like a long silk scarf i don't know if it's actually silk or if it's just smooth but i just get the silk scarf tie it behind my neck tie it above and then let the let it kind of be encompassed by the scarf instead of a do-rag because with a do-rag I keep getting do-rag lines every morning and it's not by force it's actually not by force um what else um I go with the flow to be honest because I don't have to oil my hair or anything I can just oil my scalp so when I was first learning about like which shampoos make the most sense I tried to stay away from like creamy shampoos because that helps loads of build up to like stay in my hair and that's one of my biggest pet peeves like when I have my locks and I look through them and I'm spending time and I'm seeing like little white bits in the locks and I'm trying to get it out but I can't because it's like it's been there for a long time just to try and find some yeah a bit in there um, so I've used a lot of clarifying shampoos, um, herbal essences, I really like those because um, they smell nice as well. Um, mm, 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 mm. When I oil my scalp I use Talia Wajid uh, healing oil, with the, it's spelled O-Y-L, it's like £6 at the hair shop. I'm sure I can get it for cheaper but it's at the hair shop, I'm not paying for delivery or anything online and I know where to get it from so it's fine. Um, that's really nice. It's got like almond oil, vitamin E, soybean oil, I think. It just smells nice. I like things that smell nice and also have good properties. So like there's not a lot of ingredients that I don't understand with all of these exocito alcohol and all these things that don't need to be in my hair. Um, and you can use it on your skin as well. So that's reassuring because if I can't use it on my skin and I'm putting it on my scalp, which is skin, doesn't really make sense. Um, what up? It's 
supposed to be every seven weeks. Every seven, yeah, every seven weeks. And I used to be like eight weeks, one week, eight weeks one time, and then another time ten weeks. And and I wasn't like taking care of my hair as best as I could because I was at uni and like family year is rough, so I was it wasn't my priority. But that was like the beginning stages of me having locks, so I guess that was the most important. I kind of learned from that because like when my locks were thinning to the point where I either had to cut them midway or join them with another lock for stability, then I was like, nah. Um, so yeah, I get my hair done every six weeks. And if you don't know what retightening is, it's basically when your hair grows, you're gonna have like, depending on your hair growth, normally the me is about that much, you're gonna have new hair that needs to be joined to the lock essentially so they use like a lock needle which is like a crochet hook and they do something like that and pull it through I don't actually know how they do it I just watch I admire I say thank you I pay my money and I go about my business but um they like oh my goodness so guys oh, wash day Wash day used to be so stressful for me. It used to take me like the entire day, the entire day, because when you have locks, you can't just wash your hair. This is the locks. You can't just wash your hair freely because all the water will like settle in your hair and the ends will get really puffy and heavy and it will kind of like spoil the definition. And especially when you first get your locks, your hair hasn't actually fused together. So you're making it even more difficult for your hair to fuse together and for you to be able to um, like style your locks how you want them. Cause when your hair is locked, like the majority of my hair is locked. Um, so like I can wash my hair freely and then blow dry it or just dry it. I normally blow dry, I'm not gonna lie. I forgot that blow drying was heat because <laughs> I didn't think about it. Like when you have natural hair but your hair's like an afro or something, you're like, yeah, I don't use heat all the time. When I have locks, I'm like, I can't go to bed or go out with um, wet hair, but I try not to use it for too long. I'll use it for like maybe five minutes, 10 minutes max, because I can't be bothered to hold the hair dry with my arm. So I'll do it like five minutes, 10 minutes, and then I braid my hair in sections. So with the front, because of the baby locks, I have to braid them nice and tight so that they don't get loose and then just become like loose hair. Um, with the rest, I can pretty much be as loose and as carefree as I want. And the good thing is like when I braid my hair, um, it gives it a really nice curly look. It's like having a braid out or a twist out. It gives it a really nice definition. Um, makes it look voluptuous, you know. Sometimes your hair can look a bit flat. You gotta add that flavor. What else? Oh yeah, in the early stages, yeah, it was really tough because I had to band and braid my hair, so I had to get really small sections versus now. So like every six locks, and I don't know how many locks I have, but I have a lot. It took two days to put the locks in, like over two days. So it's a lot and not only do you have to braid them when you get to the end you have to put in a little elastic band to make sure the edges are tucked in the ends are tucked in so the water isn't just clogging up your hair and making it puffy and look like a peanut or something look at them baby look at them i just love that not everyone has them and also that like everyone's sister locks look different my mom has sister locks and mine don't look like hers as much as you might think because we have the same hair type and everything but we still are still look kind of different and, and fall kind of differently on our heads um most annoying thing about sister locks hmm i don't know i really like them i guess the baby locks but then if i took proper care of my hair at the beginning stages <laughs> then i probably wouldn't have that issue and it's not even an issue because I mean, they're gonna grow as well. It's just that they're gonna grow at a different pace. Oh, also, I wanna color my hair. I want my hair to be burgundy. I want a new color. Um, or like have it jet black. But that's boring. 
it's really boring because I haven't had uh, like no one's seen me with locks that are all black or any colour apart from this auburn colour um, so I want something new to switch it up because it's been three years but um, hopefully you enjoy my channel you enjoy my video I mean and don't forget to like and subscribe and hit me up with what you want to see next although I have a very exciting interview coming up with a singer songwriter from London not telling you who just keep watching on my Instagram at life with Levon and make sure you're also um, getting my notifications on my videos and yeah love you guys bye